So we're learning about blending sounds together, and there's also sounds that are called blends. Um, for instance, when you put the letter C and the L together, make we also have twin consonants where you blend the sounds together. And we're gonna focus on reading and coding the words today. Some of them do have blends, some have twin consonants, and some of them have the short vowel sounds that we code with the brief. Okay, so first, the first thing you're going to do is um, go ahead and use your pencil to put your first name and last name at your top at the top of the page. Okay, I'm going to do that too. Okay, and um, this is reading practice eleven. Okay, so here we go with the first one, number one, z i p zip. Okay, that is the word zip. Then we're going to put a brief above the short I sound, Y, because it is a short vowel sound followed by a consonant. Okay, we get to practice using our Z sound again on number two. Z, A, P, A, P, Zap. Okay, so again, we have a short vowel sound. It's A, so we code that with a brief. And why? Because it is a short vowel sound followed by a consonant. Okay, again, we get to practice our um, consonant sound, z, written with the z, z, i, g, ig, zig. Okay, so we have again our short vowel sound, i, followed by a consonant, so we'll code that with a brief. One more right here using our consonant Z, Z sound. Z, A, G, Ag, Zag. And again, we're going to code our short vowel sound A with a brief because it is followed by a consonant. Okay, now we're going to do something a little bit different when we come to number five. Notice that our, our um, consonant Z is now a twin consonant at the end of this word. So let's go ahead and sound it out. F, a, z, az, fuzz. That is the word fuzz. So we can absolutely start with, sh with coding our short vowel sound a uh, with a breathe, okay, because it is followed by a consonant. And then it is a twin consonant and we're going to go ahead and put a, a diagonal line through our second consonant because we don't say fuzz, z, we just say fuzz. Okay, so that second z is there to remind that u to say it's short sound, okay? Let's go to number six. Again, we have a twin consonant. So here we go. F, i, z, f, is, fizz. That is the word fizz. We're going to code our short vowel sound with a brief and then put a diagonal line through our twin consonant, fizz. It reads much easier after you code it, right? Okay, let's go up here. Again, we have the twin consonant using our letter Z again, our consonant Z. This is the B, B, so let's go ahead and sound that out. B, A, Z, 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 Buzz. Okay, that is the word buzz, which is the sound that a B makes, right? So let's go ahead and code our short vowel sound a uh, with a brief, and then use our diagonal line to cross out our second consonant there for our twin consonant. Okay. Now number eight, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're using we're starting out with the letter f, which is a consonant. The sound is f. Let's go ahead and sound that out. F i g ig fig. That is the word fig. Fig is a fruit, right? So we're going to code our short vowel sound i with a brief. Why? Because it is followed by a consonant and it is the short vowel sound. Again, we have another word with the letter with the consonant f. F, a, g, og, fog. Okay, let's go ahead and code our short vowel sound a with a brief. Okay. And now we have two blended consonants on number 10. Okay, so let's focus on this. Okay. B, er, a, g, ag, rag, brag. 
brag. That's the word brag. Okay. So for this word, we're going to focus on the short vowel sound a, a that says a. Code that with a brie. Okay. It is followed by the consonant g there. Okay. Let's go to number eleven. We do have a consonant blend there in the beginning as well, with our g and our r. So let's go ahead and sound that out. G, er, a, b, ab. Rab, grab, grab. That is the word grab. Okay, let's code our short vowel sound a ah, that's followed by a consonant with a brief. Last one, number 12, right there. We have a, a blended consonant at the beginning, and we have two consonants making a sound at the end, two blends, two consonant blends there. Let's start right here with s, t, a, ah, m. Mm. Mp, amp, tamp, stamp. That is the word stamp, okay? And stamp, you can either stamp your foot or you can put a stamp on a card that you mail through the post office, right? Okay, so let's code our short vowel sound, a, ah, there. It is followed by the consonant M, and then go ahead and circle that letter. Okay, so how'd you do? I'm so proud of you guys reading your words with me. This is great practice for when you actually read your um, Saxon readers. Okay, so give yourself an exit ticket. You're gonna close this up and return this here. And because we have a short week, I'm not gonna begin our next Saxon phonics reader until next time. Make sure you put that away back in your phonics folder.